Hey y'all, welcome to Quick Side Cubing. Um, welcome to another unboxing. Let's see, hopefully my camera settings will adjust again. I see I'm getting a lot of overexposure here right now. Uh, just trying not to reveal my address. Oh, I, I think I know what this is actually. Hang on, let me just make this easier and pull it out of the package off camera. Okay, there we go. So you may be wondering what this is. Well, I want to adjust my camera settings because you can see that for some reason my hand is really white, so I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. That looks much, much better. Um, wow, would you look at that? That is just beautiful. So, some of you may be recognizing what this is, and some of you may not, but there's the name. And I should have looked up how to pronounce that. I'm going to guess it's pronounced Euclidean Cube. It says ages 8 to adult. So, what is this thing? Well, I've seen a video about it. Um, and I think the inventor was selling them, but they were really, really expensive. And I think this is probably a knocked off version because I got it for, I don't know, what I thought was a reasonable price. I forget exactly what it was, but I know it was less than $10. Now the question is, there we go. Okay, this is actually like in a pamphlet. So let's see. Can't get that to focus. Up. I'll just, I'll just read it. <clears throat> About Euclidean cube. The Euclidean cube is a magnetic geometric puzzle that can be transformed between different shapes. There are more than 70 distinct shapes that the Euclidean cube can be transformed into. Wow. Among these, among those, there exist six major shapes: cube, star. Hive, UFO, sphere, and half dome. They are created in the transformation beginning with the cube. One Euclidean cube can be transformed into more than 64 different distinct shapes. Each of these can be used as a block to create sculptures of higher complexity, and more Euclidean cubes can be built into more complicated shapes, and you are encouraged to create your own design. Wow. Oh. Okay, so then it gives a few diagrams there. Cube, star, hive, UFO, sphere. Okay, very cool. Okay, let's, I am excited. I'm really excited. I was mesmerized when I saw the video about the Euclidean cube and, and shocked when I saw that I could buy one that was not extremely expensive. So this is going to be a journey just figuring out how it moves. We have a vertex right here where these seem to come apart. Okay, wow. What is happening? Oh my. I hope I don't break it because it said it was magnetic, so I'm assuming that's what the resistance. I have some resistance right here. And then... Okay, I get it to this point. <laughs> it's like, boom, got green and blue color coming. And now I can't move it. Oh, there we go, there we go. I have no idea what I'm even doing here. Okay, I just made a shape. I made a Star of David, a six-sided, oops. There you go. A six-pointed star. Oh. Seems kind of un unstable in that position. And it wants to just keep moving, so I was gonna try to look and see what that six-sided star looks like from the other side 
but well, it just keeps once. Well, I don't even know what I'm doing, but that looks pretty cool too. <laughs> the colors are just are just really striking, and the placement of these stickers seems to be very good. Like they're all really nice. We've got this woodland scene right there, and then like that ocean wave splash sort of pattern. Looks like kind of watery. And over here we have another one. This fire, flame and stuff. Well, let's see here. I think it's going to take just some experimentation and learning to even learn how to use this. I'm just kind of letting it move however it wants to right now. I'm going to play with it off camera just a little bit and see if I can wrap my head around how to use it a little better. I'll be back in. Okay, so I just managed to make this really cool shape. I messed around with it a couple minutes and got it back to a cube shape. Although not really intuitively, I felt like I just got lucky. And then, then I worked at trying to get like all this color together. So it's a little hard to see, but it's very three-dimensional. And yeah, that's a pretty cool pattern. And then on the other side we have uh, something different. So now here we have like sort of an illusion thing going on right here so that's pretty neat um, and I'm assuming like you can use these colors to create yet another thing right now it's like pretty stable so I think this is like one of the things that you're supposed to try to get um, but yeah very very fun I'm going to have to play with this some more and if I um, like I have some really interesting things to make more videos about this cube or this toy then I will do that and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos about things that you can do with this because I think this has a lot of potential and like just um, seeing different things that you can do with this from other people and then trying to do that yourself is sort of like a, a challenge and puzzle to try to do not really like cubing per se but still a fun thing so Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later. I'm really excited about doing more stuff with this thing, actually, this Euclidean cube. And I'm going to look that up and make sure I know how to, to um, pronounce that correctly. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you all later. Bye.